Shalom. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh Kakudash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem meaning coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Shah means name, Raka meaning spirit, Kordash meaning holy. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. Double honors to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Hashai. And uh, peace, blessings, salutations to you sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity, and shalom to you sincere sisters that listen to science as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Razakal, and pretty much this lesson is going to be taught as the Lord does speak through his men. The Lord does speak through his men. And this is just going to be a quick hit. The Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay, the Lord has always spoken through his men. He's always spoken through men. Okay, the Lord always spoken through men. And for you to seek the Lord, you are to seek out his prophets. The men that are teaching the 100% truth. The men that go out throughout the week. That is teaching on the highways and byways throughout the week, the men of the Lord that are consistently doing videos, three videos within the week, okay, those men that had 100% truth, who are the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, those are the men of the Lord that are set up in this present time that we're living in today. They're the prophets of this lifetime of today. Those are the men that the Lord set up, regardless if you believe it or not. And the Lord is dealing with the elders on a high spiritual level. So you are to, for you to seek the Lord, you got to seek out the prophets. And the Lord speaks through those men. So Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Proverbs 8 and 4. It says, unto you, O men. It doesn't say women there. It says, O men. You see that? It says, unto you, O men, I call. So the Lord always set up men. Men. Okay. Men. Not women. Men. He always called men and set up men. For you to follow in the truth. I call and my voice is to the sons of men. Not women. Sons of men. So the Lord always set up men to follow. And through those men. Lord willing. We're going to receive salvation. Because the Lord set up. Set those men up for you to follow. So you are to learn from those men. Okay. You are to learn this truth. From those men. That's how you are able to seek the Lord, the Lord God of Israel in the Bible, who whose true name is Yahweh. Okay, and the true name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. So you are to seek out those men because those men believe in that report. And those men are on the highways and byways giving out that report, sounding that trumpet. Okay, they're sounding that trumpet. They're, they are sounding that trumpet. They're giving out that warning, right? So you want to follow those men and you want to learn from those men. There's no dispute in that. Okay? I just want to get that out. This is John 3 and 27. It says, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing. A man can't receive nothing, right? Except it be given from heaven. You see that? So the Lord got to be dealing with you. For you to be able to understand these secrets, these parables, right? For you to be able to understand the parables and the scriptures, the Lord got to be dealing with you, okay? You, the Lord has to give you that gift. And each and every one of us individually has a gift spiritually that the Lord gave us. And we are to use that gift. That's why the scriptures say in um, 1 Timothy 4, right? It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee. Because each and every one of us individually has a gift. And without that gift, we ain't nothing. Okay? We're nothing without that gift that the Lord gave us. And you are to use that gift. Because the Lord can take the spirit from you and he can give your gift to someone else. It says, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing. A man can receive nothing. Right? Except it be given from, except it be given him from heaven. See? So the Lord has to be dealing with you. Like the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the Lord is dealing with those men on a high spiritual level. That's why they're able to break down their parables. They're able to understand the mysteries that are in the scriptures, right? And let, let me get that precept out. I want to prove it. 
right? The scriptures say, um, my secrets, right, are revealed to the prophets. So this is how we know that it got to be given to you, right? Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing. You see that? But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. See, so the, the Lord God, the Lord has to be dealing with you through the spirit for you to, to, to get it. Okay, mainly if you already mainly if you already elect, if you're already elect, you're going to be able to understand it. But if you're not of the elect, you're not going to get it Right? You know, like the elders was going into earlier today. They were going into that. Only the elected can receive this truth. It's not it's not given to everybody. The Lord got to be dealing with you for you to be able to get this truth, for you to be able to understand this truth. OK. So we're going to go back. John 3 and 27. It says, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing. See, a man can't receive nothing because if the Lord ain't dealing with him, he's not going to be able to receive anything. Right. It says, except it be given from heaven. So the, this this truth is given to us from Yahweh Bashem Yahshai through the spirit. That's why we're able to understand the parables in the scriptures. We're able to understand the, the, the mysteries in the scriptures, the parables in the scriptures. Because not every single person in the world can get this truth. They, they don't get it. That goes into that um, that Proverbs, is it 5 and 3 on down to 7, right? That uh, 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 the strange woman with the with the honeycomb, right? You can you can break it down simple and they won't get it, right? Revelations, that's in Revelation 14 and 4, right? The, the 144,000, the elect was able to uh, receive that song, right? But not everybody was able to receive it. Only the elect is able to receive it. Right? That goes into uh, Romans 11 and 7. Right? Israel have not obtained it that which you seek it for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So not every single person is going to get this truth. And the Lord speaks to his men, but he's not dealing with every single dude. The Lord is only dealing with a specific men. And only specific men is, is going to have the 100% truth to teach the correct doctrine. And those men are the elders and the apostles of Green Mill. So enough with the rambling. This is uh, Revelation uh, 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see that? The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's beautiful. That's beautiful there. Matthew 10 and 20, it says, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. So it's not the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone that is speaking. It's the Heavenly Father speaking through those men. And the Lord got to be dealing with you. You know, going to that Revelation 9 and 10 there. The Lord got to be dealing with you. The Spirit of prophecy, that, that's a gift given by Yahweh. Even faith. Faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Not every single Hebrew Israelite has even the spirit of, spirit of gift of faith. That's a that's a blessing just within itself, right? Matthew ten and twenty. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. So it's the heavenly Father speaking through those men. The elder, the Lord is the Lord is dealing with the elders of Paul's Green Millstone on a high level. The Lord is speaking through those men. That's not them that speaking. It's not them that speaking. It's the Lord speaking through them. Luke one and seventy. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, you see that, which have been since the world began. So the Lord always set up men to follow. The Lord always set up prophets, men to follow. Not women, men to follow. People like to use Ruth. People like to use Miriam. But a prophetess is a woman that's a wife of a prophet, right? Or a woman that's able to see visions and talk about it. That's it. It ain't got nothing to do with them going out on the highways and byways teaching the scriptures or reading the Bible. It ain't got nothing to do with that. A prophet is a, is a woman that's a wife of a prophet or a woman that can see visions and talk about the visions of what she saw. That's a prophetess. That's it. it. Ain't got nothing to do with her going on the highways and byways. It ain't got nothing to do with that. You get a lot of women that get misconstrued with the scriptures. This is Job 3, 32 and 8. Job 32 and 8. But there is a spirit in man. You see that? And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. See, so the Lord has to be dealing with you to get that. 
Other, like people think that there's cheat codes to the Bible. They think that they can just get a blue letter. I mean, get a uh, not blue letter. Get a uh, get a red letter Bible, and you know, they just think they can get a Bible with, with precepts in it that just just link up here, link up there. They can just have a Bible manual where they just get it, and they'll just have a Bible where it can just go into the precepts, and you'll just understand it. No. The Lord got to be dealing with you to understand the parables and the scriptures. For you to be able to understand the scriptures, the Lord got to be dealing with you to, to there's no cheat codes to, to the Bible. This ain't no video game. You ain't going to get no cheat codes to get the Bible, to understand the, the Bible, understand the truth. The Lord has to be dealing with you in the spirit to you to receive the understanding in the scriptures. Yes, the Lord got to be dealing with you. This is Job 3, 32 and 8. It says, but there is a spirit in man. You see that? And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. You see that? And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. The Lord got to be dealing with you to get that. You can't just, well, I just got to get a Bible that got precepts in there. And you just get a Bible that got cheat that got precepts in there. And you can just find a Bible that's like a cheat book. No, <laughs> it's not going to work like that. The Lord got to be dealing with you to understand the scriptures. Otherwise, now you're not going to understand the Bible. This is why you have to follow camps and you have to learn from men. You have to. You have to follow camps and you have to learn from men. I got a precept too. This is um, Numbers uh, is it 11. 11 and uh, 16 through verse 17. And then we just read this about the prophets that received... The spirit to prophesy because we're going to prove that the Lord, the Lord has to be dealing with you to be able to, to teach, to teach this truth. OK, the Lord speaks to his men. The Lord is dealing with those men. That's how they're able to teach. That's how they're able to prophesy. Right. The spirit of the Lord got to be dealing with you. And the Lord speaks to his men. Numbers 11 and 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, gather unto me 70 men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people. And officers over them and bring them onto the tabernacle of the congregation that they may stand there with thee. So this is what the Lord told, commanded Moses to do. So Moses gathered 80, I mean 80, 70 prophets, right? 70 elderly prophets, 70 uh, men of the elders of Israel, 70 elders. He gathered 70 elders, right? To take them to the, cap to, to the tabernacle, right? Verse 17, it says, and I will come down and talk with thee there and I will take the spirit which is upon thee. So the Lord's going to take the spirit from off of, off of Moses. The Lord's going to take the spirit off of Moses and he's going to put it onto those 70 elders so they can so they can preach the gospel. Right. It says, and I will come down and talk with thee there and I will take the spirit which is upon thee and will put it upon them that they shall bear the burden of thy people with thee that thou bear it not alone right now we're gonna go to the main point we're gonna go to the main point now i'm gonna read from verse 24 and we're gonna read down to verse 30 right get to the main point i should have had the whole chapter though we're gonna read to the main point it says and moses went out and told the people the words of the lord and gathered 70 men of the elders of the people which he did he followed what the lord told him to do right it says that he set them round about the tabernacle he set the 70 elders round about the tabernacle and the lord came down in the cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him upon moses right and gave it unto the 70 elders right and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. So the Lord gave them the, the spirit to prophesy. You see that? So this is why we say the Lord has to be dealing with you for you to understand the scriptures. You can't just read the Bible and then, hey, I, I understand the Bible. I, I got I got I got I got a concordance Bible now. I got all the precepts in there and I'm going to be able to understand it. The Bible is not a cheat book. You're not going to just be able to understand the scriptures that way. No, it don't work that way. The Lord got to be dealing with you to understand the scriptures. Right. Verse 26. But there remained two of the men in the camp. So out of those 70 elders, you had two men remaining in the camp. The name of one was Eldad and the name of the other was Medad. 
and the spirit rested upon them. The spirit of the Lord rested upon them. They weren't even in, 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 at that tabernacle with the 70 elders. They weren't even there. They weren't even in the presence of Moses and those 70 elders. They were resting. They were at the camp. And the Lord put the spirit on those two men that were remaining in the camp to prophesy. Right. And it says, and the spirit rested upon them. And they were, it says, and they, it says, and they were of them that were written, but not out onto the tabernacle. See, they weren't there. It says, and they prophesied in the camp. The Lord put the spirit on them and they prophesied. The Lord put the spirit on them to prophesy and they were prophesying. Right. Verse 27, and there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and me that do prophesy in the camp, right? And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, my Lord, uh, forbid, it says, for my Lord Moses forbid them. So he was saying, tell them to stop. The, the, the Lord didn't tell them to go to the tabernacle. The, the Lord told, this, told you to just gathered the 70 elders and the spirit just rested on those 70 elders where did where did these guys come from they just prophesying the lord didn't the lord didn't command you to do that to, to, to gather them to tell them to go to tabernacle so tell them to stop they not supposed to do that but this is what moses said unto him right it says and moses said unto him envious thou for my sake with the most high that all the it says, with the most high that all the Lord's people were prophets. So he was telling him, uh, uh, he wished that all his people were prophets, but not all the Israelites were prophets. Not all of them were prophets. So he was, he was just telling them, let them prophesy. The Lord, the Lord must have put the spirit on them. Let them prophesy because not all the prophets, Moses wished that all, all the men, of, all the men of Israel were prophets, but not all of them were prophets. He wished that they were prophets, but not every single Israelite was a prophet. Not all of them were prophets, right? And it says, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. See that? So the Lord put the spirit on those guys. It says, verse 30, and Moses got him into the camp, he and the 70 elders of Israel. So there you go. The Lord got to be dealing with you to be able to understand the scriptures, to prophesy. The Lord is dealing with you. You're not, we're not even... You know, we're not we're not going out there just teaching because we just feel like doing it. We just want to do it. No, the Lord is putting the spirit on us to do that. If you a brother that that acknowledges the name of Yahweh Shimi Al Shai, you learned from the men that the Lord set up. The Lord is dealing with you to, to go, especially if you're going out there to prophesy, man. You know, and to you brothers out there that's that's out there prophesying. You know, you, you teaching the word, you know, that's a blessing. The Lord is 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 putting the spirit on you to do that. Because, you know, if you not doing those things, you know, you should be worried, you know. Because it takes a lot of guts to go out in the highways and byways and prophesy. That takes a lot of guts. Not every single Israelite can do that. And not any person can do that. The Lord, that's how you know the Lord is dealing with brethren in this truth to to have the ability to literally go out on the street corners and prophesy that takes a lot of guts and especially for those individuals out there that's been out there by themselves for years just out there by themselves without brethren that takes a lot of guts to do that not every single brother in the truth can do that you know only certain brothers can do that that to be out there by yourself teaching the gospel leave i'm leaving myself out of that i'm saying brothers in general Besides me, I'm talking about brothers that's out there, that's been out there by themselves for years, teaching the Bible, teaching the scriptures on the street corners by themselves. That takes a lot of guts to do that. Not every single brother can do that. Not any brother in the truth can do that. You know, not not anybody in general can do that. I'm talking about I'm talking about just Jake in general. Jake's in general. We know the elders and brothers can do that, but a, a, a individual, a brother in the truth, can go out there by himself and teach on the street corners. That takes a lot of guts to do that, man. But that's how you know the Lord is dealing with you. The Lord is has the spirit, the courage on you to encourage you with exhortation to go out there and teach. So the Lord set up men to follow. The Lord set up prophets. Right? Let's get another precept. It'll be, we can keep this going all day, but let me get this out. This is Ezekiel. Let's see what the Lord said unto Ezekiel, right? When Ezekiel was... Uh, Right out there. What did the Lord tell him to do? And this also refers to us. This is Ezekiel. Oops. It's locked in. It said 3 and 7. 3 and 17. 
right? This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto Israel. So those watchmen, those are those righteous newscasters, right? That's reporting the things that are taking place on the earth, right? There's being those righteous newscasters. They, they're giving out that warning. They're blowing the sound of the trumpet, okay? They're being that warning. They're giving out that, that, that sincere warning to the people. They're blowing that trumpet. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. You see that? So they're measuring the time diligently. That goes back to 2nd Edges 9 and 1. Measure the time diligently in itself. And that's what they're doing. Right? Uh, what's that? Isaiah 58 and 1. Give my people warning. Ezekiel, and uh, Ezekiel, 2nd Edges 15 and 1. Right? It says, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1 says, Tell my people their transgressions. Right? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right? It says, Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So the, we're giving this warning now. We're sounding that that uh, that trumpet. We're giving out that warning. We're blowing out that, that trumpet. Giving out that warning. Right? That's what we're doing. We're giving out that warning. We're doing the Lord's will. We're giving out that warning. So the Lord, he's speaking through his men. That's how he's getting to the Israelites. He's speaking through his prophets. So for you to be able to seek the Lord, you have to go through the prophets. You have to seek his prophets out. That's the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord. So wait, Lord willing, is that edifying? I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bashima Shai, Bashimu Kakudash. And Lord willing, is that so edifying? On to the next one. Shalom.